Hey, this is Scott Leslie Foley Cat out of Ben Salem, PA. I'm here to show you how to load a file on the new TD520 grade display. I'm going to assume that you have a file that's loaded on a USB drive and it's been given to you by either your surveyor, your foreman, somebody's gotten you this USB and now you need to load it into the system. So here we go. There's a slot on the side of the display that you can um, insert USB in, make sure it's fully in there, and this is, you're going to get this little dialogue that comes up. It's going to ask you, what do you want to do? You can import, sync, export. There's a custom file import. We're not going to go there. We're just going to import files to the machine. Where do you want to import it from? Um, you can load them on the display if you want, but it's better to do it by the USB. So we'll select USB, you hit next. Now, this is the tricky part that sometimes people stumble over. At this point, a lot of us who are used to uh, the old AccuGrade, or if you use computers a lot, you're kind of tempted to go in here and start fooling around and looking for things. That's not what the system wants you to do. It just simply wants you to select the USB and then hit the Select button down here. See where it says Select? So we're just telling it, look at the USB. The system will find what it needs. So we'll hit Select there. Now it gives you the ability to, to import several different things. Right now, we're worried about getting your project in here so you can work. So we're going to just select this down arrow. And there's if, if there are several different projects on this drive, you'll be able to see them. All right. And um, let's just select this one down here. All right. You could probably select several if you wanted. Um, and we'll hit import. Now at this point, it imported those files. That's not a real big job, so it was very, very quick. Uh, it could take uh, up to 45 seconds, maybe a full minute to get everything in there. So now your file is in there, and we'll hit OK. But now we got to go find that file because we loaded it in there, but we still have this other job loaded. So we're going to go to Job Setup, and we're going to select the project that we just imported. And... There it is there. Now there's several different things that you can choose from. We're going to keep this simple. Um, it's going to be a design uh, because it was designed in your survey office. And we need to select which design it is. And there we go. We see that. And we hit apply. So now it's going to process. And it may take a little bit sometimes to, uh, to find everything that it needs. Um, and there we go. There's a perfect example of that system status turned red for a little bit, had to sort through th some things, and now we're ready to go. I've never used this file before, so let's see what we get. Design loads complete. I'm going to just shrink this a little bit to see what's... So it looks like there's a base in there and some lines. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty basic design. But that is how you load a file um, from a USB. I hope this is helpful.